Hi everyone. This time I will introduce for the boat tuning. This boat tuning is very important. If you make the good boat tuning, you possibly make the good arrow grouping. If not make the good boat tuning, it's impossible to make the good arrow grouping. Or you should be make the good setting the ball before tuning. Uh, you have to make the good heel high, the swing high, bracing high. It's very important to be the other one. You know is how to arrow fly. The all arrow they have a paradox. Why the ball have a paradox? Because the reason is uh, you should be the your finger. The compound archer don't have a paradox. The because compound archer use a trigger. Almost archer have a different bow strength and arrow rain. So every archer, the arrow bend is different. If the change the point weight or no rings, also the arrow bend also different. Paradox is different. If the change is string high and the strain, the arrow bend also different. So when you're tuning, you have to consider the arrow point, no string high and arrow length. This archer is a Park Sung Young. The first picture straight, next to the start bend, next to the start right side or left side. This is arrow paradox. Maybe everybody understand. Okay, uh, you see the this video. They start shooting arrow. Start the band. Arrow flying this way. The arrow turn to the right side is to, because she's the right hand. Arrow turn to the right side and bend to the left or right side. It's the everybody arrow fly is the same. check the this string movement the string start move to the left side because he used the finger the string start moving to the left on the finger now start the left right, and then string turn to the right side continue So same, the string move to the inside. Uh, during the move to the inside, arrow pushing to the plunger. That because arrow, the front position pushing to the plunger, so arrow start to bend. It is the paradox. This arrow is very, very steep arrow. The fly to the left side. If able to soft arrow, fly to the right side. Okay, this uh, arrow flying direction to the left side. Maybe you don't believe this one, but this is a real made video, this one. Yeah, uh, arrow flying to the left. 
if you have a windy from the left side, this arrow will be more pushing to the right side. Right. The arrow flying straight, and then left side, right side. The for the windy is many different. The many actual rail flying is this one, the before boat tuning. Okay, uh, next one is a very important position is preparation before boat tuning. Okay, the first one, you have to make the beam alignment is very important. You still make the uh, good beam alignment is first. Second, the keel high, neck, string high, looking point, a both center short, arrow length, select arrow length, the how long, arrow point weight, arrow knob, Cushion plunger position and tension. The arrow rest position. The checked finger tap. Next, test arrow. Next one, align the both side track. This time, you have to make the good control before start or tuning. First one is beam alignment. Uh, I was uh, introduced to uh, uh, make the beam alignment. Maybe everybody understand. Also, uh, this information in my the, in the, my YouTube. Okay, so it should not the left the first one the rim to rim is direction to the right side. Second one to the left side. So the one one name left, one name the right side. Is it many archer uh, have uh, some problem the uh, limb alignment? So uh, before for tuning, uh, everybody make the good alignment. Next, till high. Maybe everybody understand the till high. The uh, upper rim and then low rim its power is different then you should be make the check good till high the first turn the ball adjust mount the ball at the way to the bottom uh, if you all move to the bottom you can check the rim original till high and uh, measure the till height make the return to the Original position. Uh, after measure, maybe some archer five, some archer six, some archer seven. Every archer, every ball, or every deep run. But I like this till height is should table between four to six millimeter. If you have a four, don't need moving. If you have a six, also you don't need moving. It original till height, if your original till height between one to three millimeter, you change the four millimeter. If original till height seven millimeter or ten millimeter, also you you change it to the only six millimeter. This is because there is not much change in the original till height. If you change too much, the bow rim with the riser change the angle is too much. If change the angle too much, the bow have many vibration. Next, pressing high. This string high is looking for the bow design. It's some uh, when you're looking the right side ball, it's more straight riser. The left side riser is more angle. 
right. it's two ball it's different it's the uh, right side the ball if the draw lengths a little short archer if you they shoot this kind of ball uh, it's possible to make the more longer draw length okay then I think uh, how to uh, check how to decide it, uh, your string high you should be testing your string high it is very important so a little bit higher and the lower you have the shooting you check the next one looking for the recurve okay. every bow recurve is different some recurve is big recurve some small recurve also string high is different okay i will show you some one the video this video i was tested before change the string high after change the string high This ball, before change the string high, is the string high or even lower. Rim have many vibration. Okay. Now this ball is stopped, no vibration. Okay, check again. Right, big vibration. At the change, stop vibration. Just change the string high. The ball is many many different. It's the same bow with the same string, same archer. Looking point. This looking point, maybe everybody understand. Uh, you first uh, make there about uh, four to six millimeters above this, the scale. Right, the straight line. Uh, this one, you first make this one, next uh, you will be changed during the bow tuning. Extend arrow a little bit higher than other arrow. So, but this is never mind. Okay, you will be make the uh, bow tuning, uh, you will be make the uh, looking point uh, during the bow tuning. Okay, next serving and knocking point. Okay, uh, many archer use the steel make their uh, knocking point. This steel is very very sensitive. Or even mistake the arrow up and down. So uh, you have to make the the serving string make the knocking point is better. Next one, some archer too hard. Some archer knocking point too soft. Okay, maybe. Uh, your finger just uh, touching, hitting your string, the arrow down. This is maybe I like this one. Okay, next one, the after make the uh, rim alignment, you need to make the center shot. Uh, this center shot is uh, the string center of the riser next uh, is arrow arrow position about uh, three quarter of the arrow point uh, located on the outside of string okay. so much uh, if used to plunge the tension a more hard maybe not too much the left side but if it more soft archer more left okay do you know why this arrow should be left side that because uh, when you're shooting the plunger moving to the inside so this time arrow direction change the center uh, if your arrow point line uh, with the string on the right the center Maybe this arrow during the shooting, plunger moving to the inside, make the arrow flying start to the right side. Maybe everybody understand. Okay, next one, arrow length. 
Uh, this arrow length, maybe when you select arrow, a little bit longer is better because if your arrow a little bit weak, too weak, you, you can cut in the arrow, right? Then some young archer is growing up, and growing up, uh, maybe you don't need to buy new arrow. The arrow move to the inside, the clicker move to the inside, maybe a little bit more extend the uh, throw length. Next one, the arrow point. I like this arrow point. It's a little bit heavy uh, because the more heavy point is not directly drop down. But right is down, but more heavy, more straight. So uh, if your arrow spine over 750, you try over 120 grain. Maybe if you use the 350, you can test 130, 140 the grain you can use. Okay? Then, but if you bow too weak, it should not use the too heavy bow. The arrow is no power for the drop down, and then your bow side too lower, arrow fly too higher. So, uh, looking for the your bow pound with a throw leg. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe everybody a little bit different. Some archers like the pin knob, some archers like the this out knob, and the better, the eastern. You use the which kind knob is no problem. But can you? For tuning your arrow a little bit steep, maybe you can change the to a long knob, right? And then if you are a little bit weak, you can change the to a pin knob. This change the uh, arrow spine, right? So looking for the uh, your arrow direction, a little bit change this. Uh, you can use the, the knob, right? The cushion plunger position uh, and the tension, right? Uh, almost the bow have a two hole. Do you know why? Okay. First, I like the pivot point position hole. I don't like outside the hole uh, because uh, this pivot point position hole a little bit mistake, but arrow not too much far away. But outside the hole, if you have a mistake, it's more outside. But why the almost the bow have a two hole? It hoi. First time make there this two hole. Because one hole is originally is with a pivot point line. One hole is bow weight line. But after many actually after test, everybody used the pivot point hole. But now all of company almost the bow, they made a two hole. Why? I don't know why. I think just to make the one hole is enough. Okay, next one. This plunger, plunger should not too soft. Uh, when you the, make the setting up your plunger, you should be medium tension. Right? Should not too soft. Okay, this arrow. You see this arrow very very soft, right? So if this one is too soft, too soft, arrow grouping is very very big. So you cannot make this one. It's very soft.
this video is Park Sung Hyun. It's the perfect the tension. There's a little bit. It looks like just moving, no moving. You don't understand the understand, but you can see this one. Right, there a little bit, yeah. But it looks like no moving to the inside. Arrow fly, that's a arrow bend, no hitting the arrow arm, arrow rest arm, right? Okay. Yes, very close, the fly to the front. Yes, it's very important. Next one, arrow rest. Okay. Uh, first one, now many archers they use the, the steel arm. But this arrow, arrow rest, maybe if you have a left side, a little bit down, then maybe you used after one month, a little bit start down, arrow slipping to the left side. Then uh, second one, or straight, you cannot straight. The right one, they collect, is a little bit, arrow rest the arm a little bit higher because the arrow is sleeping to the inside. And because middle level archer and the beginner, many archer mistake is after down the quicker, arrow jumping to the left side. Like the so much uh, use the quicker the too hard tension at the down the quicker, also arrow down to the left side. So, uh, so much like the user, the Hoyt air rest, so much use the prepare rest. But I like user third picture is straight air rest arm. You can make the a little bit the bend. Arrow not the sleeping. You can use the prior uh, change the anger is very big help. Okay, this arrow rest arm maybe everybody understand is uh, should not too long. Too long, uh, sometimes hitting to the vein. Next one, if you want to change the finger tap, you should be changed about the one if people tuning. You buy two finger tap. You still make the same angle, the same rather, same kind. It's a one one finger tap. You should be used to your spare. I have experience. I was the computation the Korean national the game, me and uh, my front uh, one archer. He started during the break time, he lose his fingertip, but he don't understand losing. Then after start the signal B, we, st we started shooting. But he said, hey, Kim, I don't know where my fingertip. He don't have time. Is shooting the used their, their finger. So without finger tap, he's shooting one end. He lose. He about uh, point 0.24, I remember 25. I'm shooting the 54 and the 70 meter. Then very, very, very uh, important. You should be make the spear finger tap. Next one, you still test the arrow. This old arrow is grouping some arrow a little bit different. Uh, you shoot uh, without fetching bang. Okay, the bear shaft shooting in the 30 meter. Maybe about three ends or four ends, you understand. 
Sun arrow, the, when you're looking, this uh, number three, all the same direction. But during the bow tuning, you should not this arrow. You still use the good gripping arrow make the, your bow tuning. But this arrow, after fletching, the grouping not too much different. Next, sometimes you change the knock angle. He, this arrow is coming inside you together. This is, you can you have time you can check. It, maybe everybody understand the aligned uh, side track. Maybe uh, but it's both sides, not the straight. It's the long distance and the short distance. It's the both side position is different, right? Uh, maybe you're shooting 70 meter, next one, and you're shooting 30 meter. You still, your both side move to the left side, the right side. Beginners for tuning, the beginner impossible shooting the 30 meter uh, because their uh, level is not too high level. It's uh, simply make their about 5 meter is enough. This actual knocking point is higher. Uh, if knocking point, the higher is a knock is above. Uh, you still change the knocking point, make the level lower. Okay, this one, knocking point is lower. Okay, maybe everybody understand. A knocking point change a little moving up. Okay, this archer is very straight, is perfect. Okay, after shooting up and down, not up, not down, it's straight line. It's the perfect is knocking point. Maybe everybody uh, make their very simple method to choose your knocking point. Uh, next one, twin the uh, plunger. Okay. The first one is the uh, arrow direction to the left side. This pine arrow is too weak. Okay. If too weak, you can change your, your spring a little bit more hard. Your spring. The arrow start make the straight. Right? Okay. Next one is arrow direction to the right side. It arrow a little bit steep. Also, uh, your spring make the more soft. Arrow make the straight. It's very simple. You can use your plunger tension. You make the more hard and more soft. You can make the arrow the straight. But some after moving, but some same direction, you still uh, change the arrow. Next, uh, tuning for uh, middle level and uh, high level archer. Uh, this is for, I explain to the right hand. Okay, uh, shoot 30 meter. Next, uh, no fletching arrow and bear shaft with a fletching arrow shooting together. We check their uh, docking point. We can check their the left on the right side is the uh, arrow with the spine, right? You can use the plunger or the many kind. You can control your bow tuning. For the shoot, bear shaft with a fletching shaft in a centimeter. Uh, if the bear shaft in the up and down position, the first adjuster Locking point, not first plunger. Okay. Uh, when the bear shaft is on the top, it's lower the locking point position. So you should be 
moving up. Okay, then their sharp is on the barrel, is higher docking point position. You change their docking point, moving down. After shooting, the bear sharp on the right side is the bearing bearing sharp is in the center, right? You first control your plunger. Your plunger makes it a little more hard, right? But should not too hard. Maybe a little bit, a little bit strong, a little bit hard is okay. And this time you stop. Next, you check the, your knob. If you if you use the long knob, you can change it to the pin knob. Okay, next one, uh, you change the arrow point. If you use the 120 grain, you can use the 110 grain. About you can move in by one or two point. Next one, extend arrow. You can cut in the back of the arrow, but should not over one centimeter, right? Uh, but how to make the code? You first uh, control plunger, and the second control knob, the third cutting the arrow, last point. I like this one because I like more heavy point. Next one, arrow a little bit steel. Okay, you make the spring tension a little bit soft uh, because uh, when you setting the bow, your plunger make the medium, so should not too soft. Medium just a little bit soft, but if you have a same, maybe uh, if you use the short knob, you can use the uh, better outside is long knob. The over eastern outside the long knob. This arrow changes the spine a bit uh, more weak. Okay, the arrow move to the right side. Okay, uh, next one you can change the point about uh, increase the uh, really heavy one you can make. Okay, uh, I think the after make the bow tuning. But you use the this kind, but if your arrow also a little bit steep, a little bit soft, you can use the, your bow pound. But I don't like touching this bow pound. But uh, it's impossible buy new arrow. But a little bit. And then bow pound a little bit strong, a little bit soft, is your feeling. It's a drawing. Drawing feeling, expansion feeling is no problem. A little bit, you can change the your adjustable system, make the bow a little bit pound the lower and higher. If the possible, make the, the bow tuning. Okay, uh, maybe everybody finish your bow tuning. Okay, uh, this bow tuning at the finish. Maybe everybody, oh, okay, I the finished protein, but it's not finished. It's important you should be fine tuning uh, because your plunger, one, two, three, four click, or the soft one, two, three, four click, you should bear sharp with a pain sharp. Grouping is the same, but you don't understand which. Position is best for you. You choose this one. Okay. Uh, first one, you prepare. It looks like this kind is a, a scoring card. Okay. Zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two. But you should 12 or 18 arrow. With vein, not the bear sharp. With the vein, and then shooting seventy meter. Okay. Uh, this is the, 
I will explain the bicep plunger, right? Okay, do the hard. Now, after finish, this position is zero. And then, minus one, return, minus one, minus one, two. Next, zero, next, plus one, plus two, plus two. This position. Okay. Every position you showing about between 12 to 18 arrow. Maybe one position have a good arrow grouping. The some position is very big. It's one or two position is very small grouping. This position is perfect for your position. Everybody understand? Okay. Uh, after finish, after finish, when do you tuning again? The amateur say, maybe before computation, okay, so much or maybe one week, so much or one month. How do you think? Okay, uh, when you play guitar, maybe before play guitar, almost time. You prepare good beer sharp on your keyboard. And then uh, when you practice time, if you 80 meter, no problem. 30 meter, no problem. You check one day, you shoot one or two arrow. You understand today my torturing is perfect, not perfect. You understand. This is why it's very important. Today, your bow tuning, the bear sharp a little bit start the right side. Next, a little bit more right side, more right side, moving. Bear sharp, up and down, if you ever start a different, you still check your equipment. You will be start the problem on the equipment. Or your shooting, your technical. So, uh, this is really, really important. You, if possible, check the every day, one or two arrow is enough. Okay. Next one important. You, after setting up your bow, before practice, you still every day check string eye. Sometimes the kill height, you fix is good, but sometimes kill height is change. Then, uh, you all check the, your setting the bow. If you are setting the bow, if some different, the arrow spine different, arrow flying different, also bow tuning also different. The, uh, your bow tuning is also important, but how to manage mod your bow tuning is really, really important. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, attention is uh, my the small is information. Okay. Uh, next time I will start uh, actually skill uh, how to learn, how to teaching. I will give you more information almost time. Okay. Thank you very much.